how to string your weed whacker. So we've taken off the cap, pop this out. Now to start, there are these two little holes on the inside. You're gonna wind one string right here and another string right here, right? So you're gonna have two separate strings. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this guy. You stick him in the hole. And then right here, it tells you which way it needs to wind, right? So we're gonna go clockwise, right? And so we're just winding it around. Um, you don't want to pull it too tight, otherwise it won't be able to feed through while your motor is, is spinning. Um, but you want it tight enough to be able to be snug and so it stays in place, right? So just kind of a happy medium, right? And you're going around and then when you have about four or five inches left over, there's this, whoopa, this nifty little notch that is going to hold it for you right there. You might have to have your thumb on it like that, right? Um, then we get our other string. Now that one I cut ahead of time. You don't have to. Um, like this one we'll cut afterward. But you do the same thing. You take the end, slide it into the hole, and then spin it going clockwise wherever the arrows tell you to, to turn it, right? And so we're just going to wind it around the second part. So see, I've got two separate strings now. There are some weed whackers that allow you to do the same string on both sides. Um, this one is not one of those. And so you just wind it until you get about the same amount, right? And then you just kind of hold it with your finger. You grab your pliers and you're just going to snip off the end, right? Just like that. You can use a knife or scissors or whatever. I always try to have a pair of pliers on hand whenever I'm weed whacking. They're very, very handy. Okay. Now that you got that, you kind of unwind the two ends. Okay. And you're going to put place the two ends through these holes, right? So, and we're going to try to give it a little bit of slack. So you push that in. You put that in through that, through that hole. And then we're going to push this end through this hole. It's a little complicated, but just like that, right? And that's going up and down okay. We're good there. We take the cap. We make sure they line up with the little holes, right? And we're going to slide it back on. Might have to muscle it in a little bit. This is kind of an older weed whacker so it's had some wear to it and you're gonna put it right in that little slit click it in a place and now yeah, and you can double check making sure the strings kind of go in and out right and we'll just for fun cut off this little extra string right just so it doesn't clog anything up but now your weed whacker is strung and ready to go.